Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jared Powley's Fragrance Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at an excellent fragrance from the house of Versace. This is known as Versace the Dreamer, and this is the reformulation. This one came out in 2010. The original Versace Dreamer came out in 1996. That one was a spectacular scent, and that was more of an amber fougere. This release, the reformulation of the original, came out in 2010. And this is the fragrance I'm going to comment on. I had the original back somewhere in the late 90s, but I no longer have it. So I'm only going to be able to talk and comment on this release right here. The main difference between the original and this fragrance is the fact that the this fragrance here has a very uh, heavy floral vibe to it. The original did not. So the original of Versace Dreamer is no longer available except if you can find it somewhere online second hand. But this reformulation is a very good price and it's readily available. But they are two, I find them two completely different fragrances. They're both excellent, but uh, the original was discontinued for whatever reason, but that was a spectacular fragrance from my from my uh, recollection and the fact that uh, they were they're two very very different scent profiles. So here's the bottle. This is not the biggest bottle I have, but like I said, this is ve uh, very uh, available. It's not hard to find and not a, a huge uh, dent in your wallet. So I'll give it a spray in the back of the wrist. So initially. You get this kind of prickly spiciness, a, a, a herbal bitterness. But then quickly this changes into kind of a balsamic sweetness. And then slowly it turns into kind of a green balsamic sweetness. Still spicy, still herbal. But that initial spray is going to be bitter, it's going to be herbal, and it's going to be a spicy in the sense it kind of tickles your, your nostrils. As it dries down, this is where it starts to become more and more floral. And there's a floral turn to this fragrance from, from this point on, from the initial dry down to the end. But they are soft, gentle floral no notes. They're sweet floral notes, but not obnoxiously sweet and somewhat powdery. So there's a, a powdery, soft sweetness to this fragrance at this point. The late dry down changes. It becomes a little bit more warmer, ambery, still has the floral herbs in it, but the herbs have now kind of taken a back seat. The spiciness has kind of taken the back seat, but it has a gorgeous, I think the late dry down is spectacular. It has this, like the ambery floral sweetness, which is very, very smooth. It's not abrasive in any uh, way, shape or form. Top notes in this fragrance are Juniper, Tarragon and Artemisia. The mid notes are iris, lily, and flax, and the base notes are tobacco, blossom, and amber. Performance on this one, it's I found it to be much weaker than the original. You get maybe three to four hours before you have to reapply. I would say more about three, uh, one to two hours push. It has moderate scent bubbles and wafts. You're going to need to reapply, but as for who can wear this, I think maybe mid-20s and up, maybe even early 20s, but men or women can wear it, either or. And I think it depends how it plays off your skin because from my experience with this fragrance and other people that I've sprayed it on, it depends on their body chemistry, which is always um, an issue, not an issue, but a factor in, in how the fragrance smells on the person. Overall, I would say this is a very good to excellent scent. Trying to get the original OG, you're going to have to pay a fair amount of money, especially where I'm in Canada. It's going to be expensive. Um, if you could find the original for the for um, a good price, just let you know, it's nothing like this one. Completely different scent profile. And it's not even, a, a re, I guess it is a reformulation, but it's more, uh, they didn't even need to call this one Versace Dreamer because it, it's not connected to the original at all. There's no similarity in in uh, my opinion. Again, always try before you buy, but I think if you if you buy this fragrance, and just one last smell, 
you will be pleasantly surprised with it. But I don't necessarily think it's for everybody because not all people generally will like the, the kind of the sweet, soft, powdery, floral vibes. But I think it's definitely worth trying and you got to let it dry down. That's the whole key with this one. Don't let the first 15 minutes, don't let that, don't be the judge in the first 15 minutes because it's going to change. Um, this, this fragrance has three definite distinctive uh, stages. The initial spray, the first dry down and the second dry down. But the, the second dry down, the late dry down, I think is very, very lovely. And that's essentially what you're going to get unless you reapply during the day. So if you like this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification button, any comments or questions you have, you can leave them down below and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.